So this is a follow-up video. In the previous video I showed you guys this Phantom Flying Wing with APM 2.6 and went through the process of pulling the telemetry log data off of here after I crashed this UAV. So in that video I showed kind of the diagnosis of how you look through some of the data and I'm still learning. Thank you guys for all your feedback and suggestions related to what you thought was wrong. There was a guy named Derek from DIY Drones who actually downloaded the telemetry log that I posted and kind of came to the same conclusion. So once again, thank you for looking into that and I learned a lot from your suggestions. So in that video, I was led to believe that the clevis on my left wing was the culprit. Now I've ordered some metal clevises and some higher end ones. Those haven't come in, so shame on me for going back to the field with a nylon clevis, but what I did do is just put a little band around the clevis to keep it clamped and hopefully not create too much tension on that rod, which is what ultimately broke from the control horn. So this is somewhat of a redemption video. I'm going to cut to some footage from the field and hope you guys enjoy. I'm back out at the field today, same mission that I flew a couple weeks ago where I thought the clevis was broken so we're getting closer to the point where the crash happened so I want to watch and observe and see if I learn anything. Heading north into a little bit of wind. Days like today are just really perfect. Doing these missions is only about five miles an hour of wind. APM is keeping the Phantom nice and level, getting some great photos. see that we're headed towards those transmission lines. You can see them over there. I'll try to capture this, but you can definitely see that the UAV is way, way above those lines. We're flying at about 375 feet, and my guess is that those lines are definitely less than 200. So you can see it banking right there and talk about being way over those. Telemetry looks good. You can see we have 97% RSSI on the 3DR radio. We're at about waypoint, heading towards waypoint number 18, altitude 120 meters. So everything is checking out so far. Looks to be a good flight in progress. One other thing, when you're flying these autonomous missions, it's important to just always keep it in line of sight. We all know the FAA rules, but I just heard an old prop plane flying over. I couldn't see it. I know it was at higher altitude, but I was prepared either to uh, hit the RTL switch or manually take over and just lower altitude and bring it home. So just wanted to share that. Always keep it in line of sight and be prepared to take over. Let me share one of my favorite features about Mission Planner and Telemetry. So you can double click any of these and then select what parameter you want to display. So let's just say we want to display distance to home. Click that and you can see now it's updated and we're about 500 meters from home. You can see we're at about waypoint 30 and then we're coming home. So same mission as last time. I feel much better and still led to believe the clevis was the culprit. Just hit our last waypoint and you can see that it's making a beeline home. Let's take a look and see if we can see it in the air. There it is coming right at us. So I'm going to let it come over, loiter for just one loop. Then I'll switch to fly-by-wire A mode, take it to manual and land. So could do auto landing, but today I'm going to take over and bring it home safely, hopefully. See our little bird loitering overhead. And it'll continue to do that until I take over. So I'll do that now and bring it down. We're on the ground safely, took the canopy off. Successful mission, CHDK still taking photos, which is always good. Makes me a little nervous that's gonna crap out in the air. But looks like the clevis or some sort of hardware failure was the cause of the last crash. So just wanted to share my follow-up. Felt like redemption was in order and we were successful. Please post any questions or comments below and until next time, thanks for watching.